The encounter begins in the deep, dark abyss of the ocean. The giant squid, camouflaged against the inky blackness, senses a disturbance in the water. Its massive eyes detect the faint silhouette of the approaching megalodon. The squid remains motionless, its tentacles spread wide, ready to react. The megalodon, driven by its powerful sense of smell and electro-reception, zeroes in on the squid's location. With a burst of speed, the megalodon charges from below, jaws wide open, aiming for the squid's mantle. Will the megalodon be strong enough to overpower the ferocious giant squid? Today we're bringing two titans together for an epic battle that could have taken place millions of years ago. Imagine a world where these two behemoths could clash. The megalodon, the largest shark to have ever existed, with teeth the size of a human hand, and a bite force that could crush steel. On the other side, the giant squid, an elusive leviathan with tentacles that stretch up to 40 feet long, armed with powerful suckers and a razor-sharp beak. Who would reign supreme in this underwater arena? Will the squid's cunning and dexterity turn the tide in its favor? There's only one way to find out. Welcome to the ultimate deep sea showdown, Megalodon versus Giant Squid. In the first corner, we have the undisputed heavyweight champion of the prehistoric seas, the Megalodon. This massive predator weighed in at an astounding 60 tons and stretched up to 60 feet in length. With a bite force of 275,000 kilopascal, the Megalodon's jaws were capable of crushing anything in its path, including bones and even metal-like substances. The Meg's hunting strategy was a testament to its power and precision. It relied on ambush tactics, attacking from below with a sudden burst of speed to deliver a devastating bite to its prey. This shark was the ultimate apex predator, using its incredible size, strength, and sharp, serrated teeth to dominate the ancient oceans. Its robust body allowed it to reach speeds of up to 25 miles per hour in short bursts, giving it the ability to catch even the swiftest of marine creatures. In the other corner, we have the mysterious master of the deep, the giant squid. While not as massive as the megalodon, the giant squid could reach lengths of up to 43 feet and weigh up to 600 pounds. Its most formidable weapons were its 10 long tentacles, two of which were elongated feeding tentacles equipped with powerful suction cups lined with sharp chitinous rings. The giant squid's beak, made of hard keratin, could slice through the toughest prey. Its massive eyes, measuring up to 10 inches in diameter, allowed it to detect faint light and movement in the pitch-black depths of the ocean, giving it a tactical edge in low-visibility environments. The squid's agility and ability to expel ink clouds made it a formidable opponent, capable of confusing and escaping predators. When it comes to comparing their senses, the Megalodon relied heavily on its acute sense of smell and electro-reception to detect prey from miles away. The giant squid, on the other hand, utilized its exceptional vision and sensitivity to changes in water pressure, enabling it to navigate and hunt in the dark, pressurized depths of the ocean. Coming back to the fight, the giant squid reacts with lightning-fast speed to the Meg's blazing fast charge. Its elongated feeding tentacles shoot out, trying to ensnare the Megalodon before it can strike. The tentacles wrap around the Megalodon's snout, but the shark's momentum is unstoppable. The Megalodon closes its jaws around one of the squid's tentacles, slicing through it with ease. The squid, now injured, releases a cloud of dark ink, attempting to obscure the Megalodon's vision and make its escape. But the Megalodon is relentless. It thrashes its head, shaking off the tentacles and surges forward through the ink cloud, relying on its electro-reception to locate the squid. The giant squid uses its remaining tentacles to grapple with the Megalodon, wrapping them around the shark's massive body. The squid's suckers dig into the Megalodon's tough skin, trying to immobilize it. The Megalodon, however, is too powerful. It thrashes and rolls, using its sheer strength to break free from the squid's grip. As the fight approaches its end, let's explore each creature's possible strengths and abilities that could give it the edge to take this fight home. Both creatures possessed incredible strengths, but their fighting styles couldn't be more different. 
First, let's examine the Megalodon's primary weapon, its jaws. The Megalodon's mouth was a terrifying marvel of nature, capable of opening to over six feet wide. Inside were rows upon rows of serrated teeth, each about seven inches long and designed to slice through flesh and bone with ease. This devastating bite force of 275,000 kilopascals could crush the skulls of its prey and shatter the hardest of bones. The Megalodon's jaws were not just about power, they also allowed for a swift, decisive attack, often striking from below in a surprise ambush that left its victims no chance to escape. But the giant squid's weaponry is equally fearsome. Its ten tentacles, especially the two elongated feeding tentacles, were lined with powerful, sticky suction cups, each equipped with sharp, chitinous rings. These rings acted like tiny, serrated knives, capable of gripping and tearing into the flesh of its prey. Once the giant squid's tentacles ensnared a victim, they would be pulled toward its beak, a hard, parrot-like structure capable of slicing through flesh and even bone. The giant squid's ability to rapidly maneuver and use its tentacles to immobilize prey gave it a significant advantage in a close-quarter battle. The Megalodon, despite its massive size, was a calculated and strategic hunter. It often relied on stealth, using the element of surprise to ambush its prey. Its keen sense of smell and ability to detect electromagnetic fields allowed it to track down prey from great distances. The Megalodon strategy often involved delivering a powerful, crippling bite to its prey's vital areas, such as the fins or tail, before going in for the kill. However, living in the dark, pressurized depths of the ocean required the giant squid to develop exceptional sensory capabilities. Its large eyes could detect the faintest of light, allowing it to spot predators and prey alike. The squid's brain, though smaller than the Megalodon's, was highly developed for its needs, coordinating complex movements of its tentacles and making quick decisions in the dark. The giant squid often used ambush tactics, relying on its ability to blend into the murky depths and strike suddenly with its long tentacles. Stay tuned! The tension is bubbling and the time has come to see which of these two titans will emerge victorious. In a desperate move, the giant squid attempts to strike with its beak, aiming for the Megalodon's vulnerable gills. The Megalodon roars in pain, but this only fuels its fury. With a massive twist of its body, the Megalodon dislodges the squid and goes in for the kill. The Megalodon delivers a devastating bite to the squid's mantle, its teeth slicing through with ease. The squid's body goes limp, its tentacles losing their grip. Blood fills the water as the Megalodon takes another bite, sealing the fate of the giant squid. And there you have it, folks. In the ultimate clash of ancient ocean titans, the Megalodon claims victory over the giant squid. This prehistoric predator has proven why it was the true ruler of the seas, but the battles don't stop here. Stay tuned for our next thrilling episode where the skies become the new battleground. Get ready for an epic showdown between the mighty bald eagle and the stealthy peregrine falcon. Who will dominate the aerial arena? Find out next time on Versus.